let's use the Casio FX570 or 991EX class Vs to find the mean variance and standard deviation of the sample data. Now, when you have raw data, you would go to Shift, Set Up, and scroll down till you find statistics. So let's select three for statistics and ensure that the frequency is off. So I'm selecting two to switch off the frequency. Once done, I would go to menu and scroll till I find statistics, which is option six. Okay, and here I would select one for one variable. And now we could already input the data. So I would input the first data, 10 equals to second data, 9. Third sample data, 16. 6 equals to 13 equals to 2 and finally 8. Okay, once we are done, I would press AC and go to options and I would select two for the values of the sample mean, variance and standard deviation. So I'm selecting two and there you go. Here we have the sample mean, sample variance and if you scroll down you would see the sample standard deviation. Okay, let me just make this bigger. Okay, scroll up. Here you have your sample mean. You have the value of the sum of your data, summation of x. You have the value of summation of x square. This is the value for your population variance, population standard deviation, which is not what we're looking for. Um, this one is the value of your sample variance and if you scroll down, you have the value of your sample standard deviation, the number of samples, the minimum value, the first quartile, the median, the third quartile and the maximum value of your data. So. This calculator is actually easier than the previous two calculators that I've used. Then let's solve the problem. So the sample mean equals to summation of x over n. That would be 64 over 7, which gives us a sample mean of 9.5. One four two nine. Okay, and the sample variance formula is the summation of x square minus summation of x, the whole thing square over n over n minus one. So the summation of x square is seven hundred and ten minus 64 square over 7 over 6 and the answer would be the one here which is 20.8095 so the sample standard deviation is simply the square root of this value which is, let me just scroll this down, 4.5617. So what if you have a group data such as the one here? You would first calculate the midpoint by taking the lower limit plus the upper limit and divide by 2, okay? Once you have the midpoint and the frequency, everything would be quite easy. So again, you would go to shift, 
set up and scroll down till you find statistics. So I'm selecting three for statistics. And now we want the frequency to be on. So I'm selecting one. Okay, then go back to menu and select six for statistics. And again, select one for one variable. And now you see the column for frequency. Okay. So we input the data, 2 equals to 6 equals to 10, okay, and I am moving to my right hand side and inserting the values of the frequency which is 3, 2 and 5. Okay, once done, I would select AC and then select option and I would select 2 for the values of my sample mean, sample variance and sample standard deviation. Okay, so the values are here. Um, have a better view of the values. So the value of the sample mean is 6.8. The summation of x is simply the summation of the frequency multiplied by the midpoint, which is 68. The summation of x squared is actually the summation of the midpoint squared multiplied with f or the frequency. This is the value. And um, the value of the variance is 13.51. And let's scroll down further. We have the value of the sample standard deviation. N is actually the summation of your frequency, which is 10. And you have first quartile, the median, and the third quartile. Okay, let's start our calculation then. X bar would simply be the summation of fm over the summation of f. Okay, I am scrolling up again. Summation of fm is 68 over here. So it's 68 over the summation of f is actually your n, which is 10 over here over 10 so 68 over 10 is simply 6.8 which is your sample mean so your sample variance the formula is the summation of m square f minus the summation of m f the whole thing squared over summation of f over the summation of f minus 1 so the summation of m square f is the one here, which is 584. So 584 minus the summation of m f is actually the summation of f m. 68 square over the summation of f is 10 over 9. And this would give us... 13.5111 and the sample standard division is simply the square root of the sample variance. The answer is 3.6757. Quite easy to use this calculator.